Wow, this is a really unique wine. These are the most famous foodie destinations in the world. I'm James Blick and I'm going to show you the best places to eat in Madrid. When you think of great royal palaces of the world, you probably think of Versailles or Buckingham Palace. Think again, because the royal palace in Madrid is double the size of those two. It's rumored to have 3,400 rooms. It's incredible. And the neighborhood that surrounds the royal palace is, for me, one of the most seductive in all the city. Wandering around here over the last little while, I've discovered some incredible places to eat. Some of them even fit for a king. Let's check them out. You haven't truly visited Madrid until you've tried the cocido madrileño, the local stew. But watch out, it's a mountain of food. So you should only have it for lunch and only if you have nothing to do until the next day. And when I want to climb that mountain, I come here to La Bola. Let's check it out. And today, La Bola is still in the same family and Mara, the current owner, makes her cocido exactly like her great-grandmother used to do 150 years ago in a clay pot handmade and sitting on a charcoal stove four hours bubbling away furiously. In this mountain of food is chicken, there's beef, there's potatoes, there's chickpeas, there's chorizo, there's soup, there's peppers, there's onions, there's cabbage, and then there's this tomato sauce with cumin which helps with the digestion. You know what? This is more than a meal. This is a personal challenge and I'm up to it. These are incredible, like butter. Perfect combination with this food is a full-bodied wine, like a Gran Reserva. It's perfect all together. And what's perfect is sitting in this dining room that's the original from 1870. And around me are all the photos of all the famous people who have eaten this dish in this room. For example, we've got Camarón de la Isla, famous flamenco singer. Camila José Cela, who was a famous writer and Nobel Prize winner. This was his very table to eat the cocido. So, you know, I feel like I'm eating, drinking, and absorbing history. It's wonderful. Madrid's landlocked, so logic tells you it's not a great city to eat seafood. Well, forget logic, because the Spanish capital is the Shangri-La of seafood for fish lovers. You know, we have the second largest fish market in the world after the one in Tokyo. And the new La Lonja Raw Bar, this place I'm in, is the perfect place to sample and enjoy that bounty. They don't cover their fish in really elaborate sauces, but they serve everything as God intended. So there's raw, there's ceviche style, or smoked in their own smoker. Here I've got cod, mackerel, bonito, as well as salmon. That's how I love my fish, pure. You know, it's a wonderful celebration of this country's bounty. The Mercado San Miguel is one of the most beautiful structures in all of Madrid. And to think, they almost knocked it down. Because back in the 90s, this was a traditional market and it was struggling. But some local investors got together and decided to save the building and turn it into a gastronomic wonderland, which is what it is today. And for people like me who love to eat, this is heaven. You can wander around eating cheeses, cured meats, tapas, seafood, fish, everything. I love this place. Once you've had a wander around the market and chosen the most delicious tapas, us. You can bring them to this incredible wine bar and pair them with an incredible wine. This place is called Mr. Pinkleton's Tavern and the tapas I've chosen I'm really excited about. What colors? It looks like a Mido painting. We've got octopus with paprika, smoked salmon, cod. It's a beautiful selection. And the wine, it's a 1994 Grand Reserva Special Edition. This wine is perfectly in balance. It's got notes of mature fruit and a little bit of coffee and some wood, but nothing's dominating. Everything's in this perfect harmony and balance. These were my favorite spots for their sophistication, history, and innovation. But there's still so much more to discover. Join me on my next trip. I've discovered some incredible places to eat. Perfect. Some of them even fit for a king. Wow, that's so good.